Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to understand how to access the Azure Data Lake storage using the SaaS token in Azure Databricks. So let us go to the Databricks workspace and understand the same. In previous video, we understood how to access the Azure Data Lake storage using the storage access key. Now in this tutorial, we will access the Azure Data Lake storage using the shared access signature. Let us go to Azure portal and see the practical example. So here I am on the Azure portal. Go to Azure Databricks service. Open the workspace. And launch the same. Then go to compute. Cluster 01. It is up and running. Now go to workspace, then go to users. In previous video, we understood how to access the Azure data lake using the access key. I'll open this notebook in another tab. Let us create one more notebook here. Connect to the cluster. Let us give the name. Access Azure Data Lake using SAS token. Let us define the steps. Percentage MD. Access Azure Data Lake storage using SAS token. Step 1, Step 2 and Step 3. So first we have to set the Spark config for the SAS token. Then we will list the files from the demo folder. And at the end we will read the data. This is the notebook from previous video. I'll open another Azure portal here. Go to storage accounts. This is the storage account that we have created in previous video. Gen to storage 248. Then go to containers. Here we have created this container demo. And inside this container, we have uploaded this file automobile price data. Now we have to read this file using the SAS token. I'll open the Azure documentation as well. Connect to Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and Blob Storage. Now scroll down. We have to connect using the SAS token. Copy this code and paste here. Let us specify the details. First, we have to specify the storage account name. I'll copy the storage account name. Paste Gen2 Storage 248. Here also, we have to specify the same. And here as well. Now, we have to specify the SAS token here. Don't worry about the secrets. We will understand about the secrets in upcoming videos. Let us get the SAS token. To do that, go to storage account. Then go to access keys under the security plus networking. Here you will get the access keys. And from here we can get the SAS token shared access signature. Allow resource types, service, container and object. Keep all the things as default. Generate SAS and connection string. And here you can see the SAS token. Copy this one. And paste here. Execute. Great. So this is all about the step 1, setting the Spark config. Now we can list the files from the demo folder and read the data. I'll copy the code from here. This is the notebook from the previous video. I'll copy this display command, paste dbutils.fs.ls and here we specified the path the container name, 
and the storage account name. So here we are able to access the container demo. In the output, we can see the details, path, name, size and modification time. Let us read the data. I will copy this code, paste spark.read.csv. This is the file path and header as true. Great. So we are able to read the file. So these are the three steps setting the Spark config, listing the files from the demo folder, and reading the data. And this is the Azure documentation. I'll share the link in the description. So this video about the accessing Azure Data Lake using the SAS token ends here. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.